Welcome to Man That's Cooking! In this video, we're going to show you how to make a Dutch oven Guinness corned beef and cabbage. Alright, so get yourself a medium to small size cabbage. Don't get a large one. Um, and when you get that, cut it into quarters and then chop off the core just like this. Next, you want about a little under a pound of carrots, and you want to cut the ends off and just peel them like this, and then cut them into about an inch size and rotate them each time you slice it, just like that. And you can see here at the ends that are really thick, you just want to cut those in half, just like that. Next, one yellow onion. You want to peel it and then Cut it in half and then rainbow slice it just like this into about eight pieces. All right, it's time to get cooking. So this Dutch oven is on a medium high burner and we added a little bit of vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Um, but basically the idea is to take this corned beef out of the packaging, dry it off with paper towels as much as possible, and then let it sear for about four to five minutes per side, just like this. So you definitely want to use some tongs, and you also want to sear this on the sides as well. And while you're doing this, you're adding some flavor both to the beef, and you're building up this fond at the bottom of the Dutch oven, and that fond is flavor. You can see that brownness starting to build up at the bottom of the Dutch oven. That's good stuff. Alright, so once you get all the sides nice and brown, just go ahead and remove the corned beef, set it aside, and uh, we're going to add some beef broth, and we're going to deglaze the bottom of this Dutch oven. So at this point, you could turn the heat off on the burner, and just slowly start to incorporate uh, one can of beef broth and use a wooden spoon to scrape up all of the brown fond at the bottom of the Dutch oven because that's flavor and we want that flavor. And next we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and then a half bottle of Guinness Stout. This is a 11.2 uh, ounce bottle and then we're going to put the corned beef right back into the center and uh, next you want to add the onions and the carrots and put them on the side into this uh, glorious bath of beef broth and Guinness stout. Alright so now it's time to cut the potatoes. We're using red potatoes. We're going to cut them in half and then into thirds. You can use Yukon Gold or Russet Potatoes if you like, but uh, you're better off with red potatoes. And for this recipe, you want to use two pounds of potatoes, but uh, the man here jacked it up to 2.5 pounds. Yeah. Live life on the edge. YOLO, baby. So just place these potatoes along the, uh, the wall of the Dutch oven. Try not to cover the corned beef. You want that, that top of the corned beef exposed so that it can brown a little bit more while it's cooking. And then, hey, there's that spice packet. Uh, most people throw this out. We're going to use this, okay? So just put a little bit on the top and cover it with the lid. And then you want to put it into the oven. And that's a oven preheated at 350 degrees. And then you want to cook it for one hour. All right, so this is what you get after one hour. It's looking pretty good. We're just getting started, though. And uh, we want to add the cabbage next. So after one hour of cooking in the oven, you want to stir it around a little bit. Um, just mix it around. Don't get too crazy. Uh, add a little bit more of that seasoning packet. And now it's time to add the 
cabbage. So this cabbage has been cut into quarters. It should fit pretty nicely, hopefully. Um, looks a little jam-packed, but make it work. Make it work. Corn, Corn beef, beef, and, and cabbage, cabbage flyover. Fly Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, Day folks. folks. All right, so we're going to add a little bit more of that glorious seasoning packet, put the lid on, and put it back in the oven for one more hour. And remember, we're at 350. So here's the easy part. An hour goes by so quick. I mean, you just close the oven and open it back up. And then, voila, here it is. Look at that, nice and steaming hot. Oh yeah. How about opening your pores just like that? All right, so use the tongs. Try and uh, determine if it's getting tender, and it likely is. So at this point, what you want to do is flip everything uh, so the surface sides are now in the drink. The beautiful uh, <laughs> beef broth and Guinness uh, mixture so that the other side of things starts to absorb those flavors. And we're just going to continue cooking for just a little bit longer. You want to put the lid back on and put it back in the oven for just 30 more minutes. And that way, all of the surface sides that were not in the uh, beautiful drink are now uh, exposed to that flavor. Okay, so it's been two and a half hours of cook time in the oven, and this is what we have right about now. And that looks pretty darn good. Feel free to go ahead and serve it as it is, just like this. But hey, you know what? We're going to do a little bit more work on this right now, because look at all of this liquid right here. So you can reduce this down by putting this Dutch oven on a burner on medium to medium high. Uh, you could put the lid on and just leave it open a little bit and let it cook for about 15 minutes. And this is what you're going to get. So go ahead and remove the corned beef and let it rest. And then take your tongs and break apart the cabbage. Well, that's optional. You don't have to do that. But uh, you might want to make it a little more bite-sized. Now, after the corned beef has rested for at least 5 to 10 minutes, you want to slice it against the grain. So right here, you can see the grain and how it's like traveling horizontally there and man here is using a slicer he's slicing against it and look at that you got that nice fat cap at the bottom and it's a flapper it is looking tender and delicious so again you can see how the grain direction is going and just slice against it and why do you do that well because it's going to make the meat even more tender all right, so an optional step as well here is to add a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch and to use an immersion blender and just hold back, you know, all the veggies off to the side and just mix it in just like that. And now you can thicken up this liquid, this beef broth and Guinness, and turn it into a nice, delicious sort of gravy. And there you have it. Uh, it was a little prettier before, but, you know, we did cook it down a bit, and this is so tender and delicious. You can't believe how amazingly flavorful this is until you try it. So click like, click subscribe, try this out at home, let us know how it turned out in the comments section. Check us out at manthatscooking.com. We've got plenty of other corned beef recipes. Thanks for watching.